Hello friends, today our project is inspired by a living current artist named Chris Uphughes. Chris Uphughes is a pop artist. He likes to make pictures of everyday normal things like hearts. Chris Uphughes wants to share his special vision of happiness with the world through his artwork. To share his artwork with the most amount of people, Chris Uphughes decided to make public art. That means in the city where he lives, he painted on the walls of buildings and around doors and out in the open for anybody to see walking past because Chris Uphughes wants to share happiness with the world. He likes to work with his wife named Jen and his puppy dog named Benjamin. We are gonna use Chris Uphugh's idea of using hearts to spread some happy and make a beautiful heart picture of our own. You may notice that these hearts are extra special because they all have different silly expressions on their face. Let's get started. Grab your piece of paper and make a decision right away. How do you want your paper to be? Tall up and down? Wide side to side? Or do you wanna be a little crazy and put your paper on a diagonal? You decide whatever you wanna do is great. Once you have decided the orientation of your paper, we're gonna start drawing some hearts. If you don't know how to draw a heart, I like to teach it like this. You need two letters to make a heart. Start with a big bumpy M. Underneath the M, connect the sides with the letter V. And voila, you have a heart. Start filling up your paper with hearts using M's and V's. You get to decide the composition of your picture. The composition is where the hearts are. You get to pick where they go. You can draw some hearts behind other hearts to create overlap. You can draw hearts sticking out of the edge of the paper. And also try to use different sizes of hearts. Try to keep everything different. Use variety. I have lots of different sizes of hearts. Some are overlapping, some are sticking out the sides of the paper. I think my picture has enough variety in its composition. Once you've decided where the hearts are gonna be, use your idea sheet of Chris Uphugh's faces to start adding some faces of your own to your hearts. Now this is just an idea sheet, so you don't have to copy everything about every face. You could pick your favorite eyes from one face and then choose a different mouth to go with them. Or you can come up with your very own ideas for eyes, nose, and mouth on each one of your hearts. Okay, I have one face completed. Now I need to keep using my brain and my idea sheet to add a special face silly expression to each one of my hearts. Once your faces are completed on every single one of your hearts, it's time to buckle down and outline or trace the entire drawing with a Sharpie. Now you have to do every single pencil line, even the eyes, even the lines inside of the eyes. Don't forget the nose and definitely trace the mouth. It takes a little bit of time to trace an entire drawing. So I'm gonna speed it up for you. I'm gonna do a quick movie magic trick in three, two, one, boom. Excellent. Now you can see my hearts and their cute little faces a lot better. And now it's time to color. You've got to use 
water-based markers for this part. So Mr. Sketch, Crayola, or even highlighters will work for this part. I'm gonna use highlighters because I love the bright colors. And around the inside edge of each heart, choose one color and draw a thick band of that color around the perimeter or the edge of your heart. Make sure the line is thick. Make sure that you're using a lot of marker juice to get down on the paper. And try to use variety in your color choices. So instead of making all of these hearts blue, I'm going to use variety in my color choices. I'm going to use pink and yellow and green. And each one of these hearts is going to have a colorful border on the inside. When you're done adding a thick border on the inside of each heart, it's time to do kind of a cool little trick with these water-based markers. Since they are water-based, if you get the paper wet with the marker on it, the ink from the marker starts to bleed or spread out. So everyone's gonna get a cup of water today and a paintbrush. A Q-tip will work too for those of us at home and you are going to paint the rest of the heart with just water. But the key is, when you're painting in the heart with water, make sure that you're rubbing the paintbrush or Q-tip on the marker part around the edge. Make sure the water touches the marker so that it starts to spread. This is creating a really cool effect called value. Our hearts almost look a little bit 3D because they are dark around the edges and lighter in the middle. Sorry, you can't see anything. My cat is sitting all over my paper. She loves Chris Uppy's art. Um, but anyway, make sure that you are painting the water on the marker so that it spreads, so that it creates a little bit of value. Dark colors around the edge and a light color in the middle. It helps make the hearts look kind of 3D and it makes them more interesting, honestly. Well, my cat got a little too crazy in the water there and she splashed a whole bunch of water all over my picture, but that's okay, I'm just gonna let it dry out. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish up painting the last heart with water. All right, my paper is nice and dry now. Thanks, kitty. And it's time for the last step of this project. You need to turn on your creativity engines and you need to decorate the background, the space around the hearts. You could do so many different things. You could color in the whole background with one color. Or you could fill the background up with lines and shapes and designs. I went with a big wiggly rainbow going all around the paper. And then in the leftover white spaces, I decided to fill it up with short pink lines. I really like how it turned out. I'm so excited to see what your hearts look like, all their little expressions, and I'm pumped to see what you do with the background. Great job, everybody. See you later.